Hello everyone, it is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. Uh, today we're going to talk about the nor'eastern that's going to affect the northeastern part of the United States coming up on Wednesday and Thursday this week. Uh, before we do get started, uh, if you do like weather related content, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel as I'll update you throughout the week. So let's get started. Um, here is your current uh, satellite picture as of today on Monday afternoon. You can see we've got some rain showers moving into Texas, but this system developing off the, uh, the northeast coast here and we're just kind of waiting for that trigger. And that trigger is this cold front that's way back in here that's going to be tapping into that moisture and really digging in and developing and swinging up to the northeast coast. So here's the satellite picture for Mon or Wednesday afternoon leading into Wednesday night around midnight. You can see the developing low pressure off uh, the northeast coast, digging in, tapping into that cold air and really dropping. The isobars are kind of uh, tightening it up at this point and the low pressure is down to 996. And as this thing uh, uh, tightens up again, this is as of midnight on Wednesday night. And so six hours later, that'll be at uh, Thursday morning around 6 a.m. It drops another 10 millibars and you can see the isobars uh, tightening up and it's pumping in counterclockwise. And these winds are really picking up now, uh, 20, 30, 40 miles an hour in gust, well above uh, tropical storm strength as this moves up the Northeast coast. And if we take it out another frame, it actually drops another 10 millibar. So again, a 20 millibar drop and a 12 hour period as this thing really starts to crank out. And now we're talking winds of, of hurricane force, uh, potentially a, you know, like gust and really cranking up and, and moving into and pumping off that offshore flow, dumping heavy rain into, into Maine and parts of uh, Boston where I expect a couple of inches of rain and moving up the East coast. And this will, you know, like again, pump in tremendous amount of wind and offshore flow and create a, a storm surge as it moves up the northeast coast. And if we take it out another frame, it even deepens out even further. And gosh, this even even classifies as a as a bomb of genesis because it technically, if you drop 25 millibars in a 24 hour per period, if this thing does verify, this will bottom out at, at 970 millibar and that's like a cat two hurricane as this uh comes up on a subtropical feature as it comes in to maine pumping in pumping in that air uh, high high winds into maine and even some snow flurries may fly uh, you kind of a wet snow 35 38 degrees snow late and uh thursday night up into the far northern parts of maine Here's another look at it. Uh, this is at Wednesday night at, at 10 o'clock and you can see the low pressure. There's, there's Boston. So it's showing the winds of in DC 25 to 30 and New York 20, 20 to 25. These are sustained winds, not gust. Nantucket 30 to 35, Boston 30 to 35. And as we take it out another frame at one o'clock on Thursday afternoon, you can see that low deepening even further where we've got some 40 to 50 mile per hour winds offshore in Atlantic City, uh, Nantucket, Boston's, you know, tropical storm force winds, and even into Portland, you're getting into the action. And, and you can see the rain amounts, kind of a, a widespread event of one to two inches, essentially from Atlantic City to New York, to Hartford, to Syracuse. This is over a, a two to three day event. So as far as like a widespread, and there'll be pockets of even higher amounts, but overall about one to two inches in Burlington, Portland, Bangor, all the way to the Boston and Hartford. But here are the wind gusts. These are the wind gusts on Thursday and these are knots. So you can actually, uh, the calculator is 1.15 on top of these knots. So when it says 46, you're talking winds of 52 to 55 miles an hour. And there's even some 70s showing up off the off the coast here. And that and that's pretty much, you know, 85, 80, 80, 85 mile per hour wind gusts pumping in, pumping in uh, 
you know, those higher winds off the coast. And so you should see some higher winds definitely in, in, the, in the Boston area, into Connecticut, New Hampshire. And as this swings up the coast, so this is a, a nasty little storm uh, going to take place starting Wednesday night all the way through Friday morning before it actually heads out. So here's the, uh, the overall precipitation uh, content in the atmosphere. And you can see this as this deepens on Thursday. It'll, it'll have, you know, one to two, two inch rainfall estimates per hour dumping heavy rain. I, I expect, again, two to three inches on average in Boston. There are some actually places may get four to five as this really tightens up uh, Thursday afternoon. And here's the latest European model showing some of those heavier rainfall of widespread uh, two to three inches on all parts of Vermont and New Hampshire and Connecticut and kind of a bullseye right around the Boston area where I think it really starts to tighten up on Thursday where again we should we could experience you know on average two to three inches of rain oh from a Wednesday to a Friday morning but pockets and isolated spots of four to five inches wouldn't be out of the question and here are some temperatures Again, on Thursday, I think we bottom out and into the 40s. So I'm not really expecting uh, snow with this system. You're not going to get that low. <laughs> so I think this is a pretty much predominantly all rain event besides in some of the higher elevations. But these are temperatures in the low 40s on Thursdays. And if we actually took it out another frame on Friday morning, we we probably going to see some 30s up here. We could see some snow flurries, snow fly in the extreme northern parts of Maine. Here is actually your snow and this is pretty much right around the uh, the foothills and the Catskill Mountains of New York where I do think in the higher elevations you are going to get some snow, uh, snow showers from this but in the lower elevations to the surface I just don't think it's going to be cold enough so it's just going to be a a cold chilly rain coming up for you guys uh, in the northeast for wednesday afternoon all the way through friday morning so i appreciate you guys uh tuning in with me and staying with me for this video i just want to give you a quick update on this massive nor'eastern that's kind of taking development and this will really take hold like i said wednesday night through friday if you gain value from this video uh, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and definitely catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm